Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, then my name is Claire and it's lovely to have you here. If you're a returning viewer, it's always great to have you here, so welcome back. New viewers, if you do like what you see here and you're looking for the Slimmer World content and inspiration, new food recipes, things to try, or a little bit of support on your Slimmer World journey, then you have found the right place. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button now and also press the notification bell so that you get notifications when my videos are uploaded. I do now aim to upload at 6 p.m. every Friday with a Slim and World themed video. So it changes every week. It may be what I eat in a day, might be what I eat in a week, might just be what I'm cooking tonight. I'm trying to mix it up a bit. So also get in the comments and tell me what you would like to see in my Slim and World vlogs. Today's vlog is just gonna be a little cuppa and a catch up. So pause right now, go grab yourself a cuppa, get cozy and let's chat. One of the first things I wanted to chat with you guys about today was my Slim and Well journey. Um, it's been very up and down recently, very up and down. Um, and I am struggling to be motivated to keep on track. I'm kind of, I'm not that fussed about losing weight right now. I'm quite happy where I am. To lose a little bit would be a bonus but I'm not like desperate to lose a stone or desperate to lose anything. I'm actually quite content. I did have a target that I wanted to lose a stone before. I wanted to lose a stone before I go on holiday in October. I did lose half a stone and I lost a little bit more after that. So I'm about half a stone down. And I'm actually, again, like I say, quite happy with that. If I lost a little bit more before going on holiday, that would be nice. But if I don't, I'm not that fast. So currently I am, kind of just using Slim and Well to maintain and stay where I am, which is one of the things I think is fabulous about Slim and Well, is that it is maintainable. Even if you're not on your weight loss journey, it, you can still incorporate Slim and Well into your everyday life to maintain that, like that weight loss. That's what I mean um, by it being a long-term weight loss and maintenance journey. And that is what is great about Slim and Well. I just cook my evening meals, I make my lunches, so I'm still making everything Slim and Well, I'm still following the Slim and Well plan, but I'm not being as strict when I have those off days. If you do follow me on Instagram and other social medias, you might have seen um, what I mean by I've had a few off days, you know, I had a board night with my sisters the other night, which was so much fun. I don't know if you've ever tried a board night before. I did think about doing a Slim and World styled board and vlogging it for you guys. But then when it came down to it, I just decided to go for it. So we had um, a country themed board night, which is a really good theme in. And you could so easily make these in a Slim and World style, by the way, but we, we weren't following any plans. We were just having a lovely indulgent night together. Um, so my country was Turkey. So I created a board of food all themed around Turkish. So I had like lovely dips um, with pita bread, not pita bread, little mini, pit, little mini pita breads and flatbreads and olives. And then I'd done a little dessert board to go with that with little baklavas and Turkish delights. So it was fabulous. My sister, one of my sisters done Indian, one done France and my mum done Spain, which was a gorgeous paella. So I've had a few indulgent nights, just things that pop up and you know, we're not out all of the time. So when I am out, I like to enjoy it. So that is kind of where I am at the moment. My Slim and World is more of just, I'm just in that maintenance stage at the moment. I'm quite happy with where I am weight wise and I'm gonna continue, yeah. So I'm quite happy with where I am at the moment weight wise. And I think I'm just, I'm just aiming to stay around the same. As I say, if I lose some weight, that is a bonus. But to me at the moment, just maintaining is where it is at. I, so group wise, I still am a Slim and World member and I'm gonna plan on continuing being a Slim and World member. It's not that my journey's come to an end, it's just that I'm not that motivated to lose weight right now. So I will still go to group and I really do need to, probably not until after my holiday now, I really do need to get myself to stay for a few groups because I really, I do find so much inspiration in group and it does help me, definitely helps me. Um, and it might help get my mojo back and make me wanna lose a few more pounds because I think that is where I'm at at the moment. I haven't been going to group and that makes such a difference with me. Like group is key. I mean, I know group is one of those dodgy areas. Some of you love group, some of you hate group, some of you may never have been to group. Um, my advice when it comes to going to group is I, I like I say, for me, it 100% helps. So I would recommend anyone who's on a Slim and World journey, I'm gonna recommend you go to group. 
for understanding the plan, for getting the ins and outs of everything. There's a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to the Slim and Well plan. People don't understand why hex Bs are measured, why hex As are measured, why SINs are used, um, why certain foods are recommended over certain other foods. And I think a lot of that education and understanding around the plan comes from group. It's very hard to find it all out on your own. Um, obviously, there are lots of content creators like myself who do share their Slim and World journey and what they have learned throughout their Slim and World journey, which is all fabulous, but nothing quite beats getting it straight from the horse's mouth, um, which is your Slim and World consultant. So next point on group, if you are going to a group, finding the right consultant is essential. I know I've heard loads of you who are put off by groups that you have been to. There are certain aspects of that group that you don't enjoy, that you didn't like, and it puts you off going to group. Not all groups are the same. Not all Slim and World consultants are the same. So finding your group where you fit is key. Like the key to a great group is a room that you walk in and you feel welcomed into. I've been to groups and I know people have been to groups that are quite clicky, that you walk in the room, you feel uncomfortable, you don't bond or gel with your consultant and it is just uncomfortable and going isn't a pleasant experience and no one wants to put them through a couple of hours a week of something that isn't pleasant. My group experience is positive. Um, it's not always been positive. I'm an, I go to a group now and I wouldn't go to another group because I love my group. The only other group I'd go to is another one that I go to weigh in occasionally. And I've never actually stayed there, but it looks like a fabulous group. And I've always felt quite welcome in that room as well. So, you, and you get that vibe, that vibe of feeling welcome or feeling, oh, this isn't quite my thing. Like this, almost the second you walk through the door, I do find, but it is definitely worth giving a group a go. So I had a fabulous group when I very first started Slim and Wild really enjoyed it. The consultant was so funny. She was like a comedian. So it's always so much fun going to her groups because she was great to listen to. Unfortunately, she gave up being a consultant. So I think I then went to about a good two or three other groups before I found my my group that I go to now. And I went to one of the groups and honestly, I, I sat through a group and I thought this is the most boring thing I have ever done. There is no way I'm going to come back here and sit through this because I'm just going to go right off plan because this it, it just bored me to tears. I didn't find any inspiration in the person. She wasn't interesting. I didn't find the information she was given out particularly beneficial. So I knew that wasn't for me. And I went on to the next group and I can't really remember the next group, but it just obviously wasn't for me because again, I didn't stay. And then my sister works with Lindsay, who is my current group consultant. She's a nurse and this is something she does in the evening. She runs a couple of groups locally. They're always really busy. They're a really nice atmosphere, a really nice vibe. Now, another thing that people don't like about groups, apart from sometimes feeling uncomfortable, is the circle image therapy. Now, I this is the part I find really beneficial. So I've heard people speaking about like sitting in the circle and it's that dreaded thing. I had someone recently who um, sat down at a group and was introduced as here's so-and-so, they need to lose weight due, due to health problems. She's like, that was actually a personal conversation that she had with a consultant and wasn't something she wanted to put out as common knowledge. Um, so instantly, straight away felt uncomfortable in that group. Now, your consultant is there for you and they are there and they should be approachable and you should be able to speak to them and feel comfortable. If your consultant makes you feel uncomfortable, then that isn't the group for you. So image therapy, how does this help you? So a lot of people don't like the whole thing of sitting in a circle and someone coming to you and saying, oh, you've put on weight this week, what are you gonna do about it? Or clapping because someone else has lost weight and then you feeling bad because you haven't lost weight. So the group's all about support, okay? And there is groups that I've sat in and again, this conversation has been very boring. This conversation has been about how many Kit Kats someone's eaten or why they fell off the wagon and it isn't very useful. Now, my consultant is all about positive uplift and how we can help people in this circle. So I don't think she's ever gone around and said, you've lost a pound this week. How do you feel about that? It will be, haven't had such a good week this week, or, you know, I know you haven't got the results you've wanted this week. So what are we going to do? What can we do to make this better next week? What can we as a group give you to support you, to bring you up and help you get the results that you want next week? Now, 
this is where group is fabulous because that person will then probably say, oh, do you know what? I've had no lunch inspiration or, oh, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done. Okay, so run me through what you have been doing. Oh, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've had pot noodle for lunch every day. Okay, so there you go. A pot noodle is 11 sins. So you're having all those sins. Are you counting them? Oh, no, because I thought pot noodles were noodles. I thought they were free. No, they're not free. Okay, so straight away you found out what you're doing wrong. Would you like to bring in a food diary? The consultant should always offer you to bring a food diary so that they can look at what you're eating because sometimes simple mistakes are adding onto your sins. I know my mum, when she done it, she was using um, some flavoured porridge instead of rolled porridge oats every day and not counting in sins because she didn't realise that the flavoured porridge oats can contain sins. So if you're using your sins to full capacity and this doesn't get spotted or brought up and you just say you're having porridge for breakfast, this is where you're not going to be getting the results you want. So what else does my consultant do? So when we're in group and someone's had a bad week and they'll say, oh, I'm struggling for lunch ideas, we'll go around the whole group and so many people will suggest so many different things that it's just helpful. Um, and I always feel inspired when I leave group. I've never been in my group and felt bad about my weight loss. It's never been pinpointed. You've you've put two pounds on this week or you've gained or you've had a really bad week. It's more along the lines of, you know, things haven't gone as you wanted this week. So what can we do to help you improve on that next week? It should be helpful. It should be beneficial to you. It should have a good vibe and you should feel comfortable. If you don't get those things from your group, then you've been to the wrong group. If you don't want to go to group, that's fine. But if you did want to go to group and you were put off by those sort of things, then please do try another one because I... I can't tell you how beneficial I find a group. I really do find it beneficial. And I think if you find the, the right group, you will find it beneficial too. It's also a nice little social event. It's nice to go out, have a cuppa, chat to some people. Yeah, I do enjoy my group. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about group. Also, guys, if you are struggling for some inspiration, do you get the Slim and Well magazine? Now, this one of the advantages, another one to group, is that you get it for $1.95 in group is two, it is, how much is it regularly? It's 3 if you pick it up in a shop, but it's full of inspo, so it is well worth having. If you're not a group member, do, do consider picking one of these up because it does give you so many ideas. There was loads of stuff I saw in this magazine, so let's just go through and see a few of the things that I thought were great in this month's magazine. Um, a few of you, I've had a load of messages about my bagels. I get these wool between, Warburton protein bagels. These are amazing. I use them all the time and they're so tasty. How nice does this look? Look at this for um, menu inspiration. Croque Madame, French toast served with melted cheese, ham and a fried egg. That sounds delicious. So you could make that. The, the ingredients are pretty much ham, mozzarella, cheddar, two slices of wholemeal bread. I use the Aldi Essentials wholemeal loaf, which is awesome. And that is two slices for your hex B. Medium egg, lettuce, lettuce, cucumber and salad. And that is, is that three sins if you're using them? It says it's 12 sins per person, but three sins come off if you're using the mozzarella as a healthy A, and three sins come off if you're using the cheddar as a healthy A. So that's six sins off. And then, as half of a healthy extra A and six sins if using wholemeal bread as an extra B. So it's actually free if you're using your hex A's and your bread for the B. That is a really good idea. So recipe ideas in here are fabulous. What other ideas did I see? Because I did see some really nice things in here. There's some steps in here on how to be more active. Now, something I always see people say is Slim and World does not encourage you to do exercise or any physical activity, which I don't know where the people that say that get that from, because every every month in the magazine, there is something about fitness or how to get more steps in your life. And there's also the Body Magic program. I've never, I've never followed the Body Magic program. I mean, I do get exercise and I don't use I don't need slim and well certificates to, to do my exercise but there is always plenty of motivation and inspiration just to get a little bit of exercise in and ways of getting exercise in for people that aren't actually active and do an exercise just things you can do in your everyday life that will help um get a few more steps in get your heart rate up 
and just do a few more bits, even if it's down to cutting your lawn, walking the kids to school, just little things that can make a difference in an everyday. So that is a nice little read. I found the fridge fillers section was actually quite useful in this month's magazine. It just said about um, snacks that you can make to keep in your fridge. And it had some ideas here of like juicy snacks, strawberries, melons, orange plums, orange segments, plums, blueberries, just things that you can prep and have in your fridge ready to eat. Crunchy snacks, sugar snap peas or mange too, cucumber, gherkins, pickled onions and peppers, soft snacks, hard boiled eggs, cooked baby carrots, cooked skinless chicken, lean ham or seafood sticks. Oh, crab sticks. I, I love those. They're a really good snack to have in the fridge. Creamy snacks. You've got your fat free yogurt, homemade tzatziki how do you say it so that is just made with like fat free yogurt mint and a bit of cucumber lovely fat free natural cottage cheese portions of mozzarella there's a few tips on how to store your fresh snacks to keep them a little bit longer in the fridge and some little bits about your preparation and storage of those snacks just lo lots of useful stuff like um yeah, I enjoyed reading through that. Always the motivational stories of Slim and World members who have achieved great things following the plan. Oh, and there is a whole section in the middle about cooking Indian food. Now, I thought this prawn dish looked amazing. This is definitely one I would like to try. I'm sure there was something in here I wanted to cook um, in one of my vlogs. Maybe it was Indian. Maybe I was going to do an Indian night. I can't remember. So here it is, Keralan style prawn curry. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, that is definitely on my list. Talking of which, Mark and I had an Indian last night. Again, there just seems to be those occasions coming up at the moment where I'm eating food that isn't on plan. However, I did pick a chicken shashlik. Now, I don't know if you guys have looked at the best takeaways to have on Slim and World, but I know that chicken shashlik is one of the best ones to pick when having an Indian. It is the lowest dish, one of the lowest dishes I think you can get sim-wise. And it literally is just um, sort of a tandoori spiced chicken done with whole like tomatoes, onions and peppers on the grill. And it tastes amazing. To check or get the sin value of this lower, you could always ask to have it cooked with as little oil as possible. But it was absolutely delicious. Um, so here are ways you can make your sin free <laughs> or very low controlled sins for Slim and Wild. There is also always this page in the Slimmer World, which is a week's worth of food and it gives you breakfast, gives you a menu for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then on the following page, I don't know if you've ever noticed this before, there's a QR code. And if you save this, if you scan this, it will give you the full shopping list for that week's worth of food. So if you're really struggling, you're short on inspiration, haven't got time to go shopping, you want to do your online shop, scan this, read your menu on this page and you are good to go. Food for a week. Always handy. What else have we got? Even the adverts in the Slim and World magazine are quite good. Obviously, this one is an advert for Iceland and for the Slim and World meals. If you haven't tried the Slim and World meals from Iceland or Food Warehouse, they are amazing. And there is an offer on. I will put the dates on the screen because I'm not quite sure. But if you are a member of Slim and World group, if you take your card, your Slim and World membership card, when you go shopping, you can get 10% off your Iceland shop at the moment. So that is amazing. I need to stock up on these meals because they are really, really nice. They are good um, and so, so handy just to have in the freezer. The adverts all show you nice, handy, useful things. So it is good for picking up some food inspo. Here you've got this um, Pinot low calorie Pinot spritzer can and it's 41 calories for 100 ml. Um, I can't see what the sin value is, but it's a low sin value. There is actually a page in here that tells you the sin value of everything in the adverts, I do believe. But it is just full to the brim of just really useful stuff. A load more recipes, so you're gonna pick up loads of recipes every week. And um, there is a sweet section. Now, I, I don't know don't tend to make the desserts because you do obviously have to be quite specific with the portion sizes and if I make something I just tend to want to eat all of it. You've got the show flask as an advertisement in here. I always use the show flask, you would have seen it. I can't recommend them enough, I think they're brilliant. So you get your Iceland frozen meals, you heat them up, you put them in the show flask and they are there ready for you to take to work which is amazing. 
Um, the other thing that I was trying to find, which I think was in here, was the Slim and Wild kitchen box. Had my first kitchen box last week. If you haven't watched that, take a look. If you've been thinking about getting a kitchen box, I loved mine and we will 100% be getting those again at some point. It was really, really worthwhile. I did enjoy the food very much. So that's about it for me today. Um, I have a few vlogs that I'm in the middle of making. I am doing a soup vlog because we are coming into that soup time of year. As you can see, the hoodies are out. It is definitely feeling a bit autumn autumnal. Um, so I have started on a soup vlog. I will try and get sort of, I'm up to three. Three, might be three, might be five. Different soups that you can prep on plants in world. I definitely find food easier coming into the winter, like your food prep, definitely taking soups or casseroles that you can make in bulk to work for lunches and stuff. It just makes life easier. And the food see is, um, if you can prep make these soups and stuff, they're so much cheaper too, aren't they? And if we can save money on food, then that's fabulous. So yeah, I've got a soup, Slim and Wild Sloop, Sloops? Slim and Slim and World Soups vlog coming up. I've also got a brand new Kasori product review coming up soon. So alongside that, I've picked a Slim and World recipe book and I will be cooking some dishes and recipes from that. So I can't wait to share that with you. And that's as far as I've got at the moment. So I'm sort of plodding along, trying to make sure I've got some content for you guys every single Friday. Um, it's not always that easy because as you know, like uh, this isn't like my full time job. This is just something I do in between work. So sometimes like with the soup one, it can take me a few weeks to put a vlog together um, because I can't just cook everything in one go. But I'm working on making sure I bring you a vlog every Friday at 6 p.m. Um, don't forget if you've got anything you need help with or any questions you want to ask, I'm always here. So just get in the comments and ask away. Um, I'm sorry it was a bit of a short and sweet one today, um, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So yeah, that's me done for today and I will see you in the next one.